Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to sign a PDF document on an iPhone or an iPad. Now I'm going to show you how to do this for free and very easily. I've looked into a few apps that allow you to do this but they make you create an account just to simply sign and email a PDF document to yourself. So I'm going to show you how to do this completely for free without having to sign up for anything. So let's just assume somebody emailed you a document and it's in a PDF form and they say you know please sign and return this document let's say you don't have a printer so you can't print the document um, and you don't have a computer and so you have no way of, of getting this back to them so let's just assume that you're only on an iPhone or an iPad you would open up your mail message with the document and this is how it would look we would click on the PDF document that'll bring up this window here and this is basically asking us well what app do you want to open this PDF document in and you can see that I have a few apps that will allow us to do this well the app that I'll be showing you today is called PDF Master now I, the reason why I recommend PDF Master is because it's free very very simple to use it's it lets you do basically everything that you'll need to do sign date uh, different colors different size of text stamps free text um, and it doesn't require you to create an account so that's why I'm recommending PDF master go ahead and visit the Apple App Store it's free once you download PDF master it will show up in this list here after you click on your PDF so I'm going to click on PDF master to open my PDF in that app and you'll see that it opens up the PDF just fine I'm going to click on the little pencil up here at the top to edit the document and make changes to it now we have a couple of different options as far as modifying this PDF document this pencil right here is kind of like free drawing we can just draw and write on the document uh, we can input text on the document we can input let's say this little speech bubble to note um, we can sign the document, it's a little picture of a quill, and we can put a stamp on the document. Maybe the stamp would say approved or cancel or void. So let's just go ahead and, and keep it to basics. You guys can definitely feel free to go ahead and experiment with this, but we're going to select this little quill pen thing, and we're going to click with our finger where we want to sign. That's going to be right down here by the X, and I'll just tap the screen right there, and it says now insert signature. We're going to edit our signature so this is my signature from before now if I wanted to clear it I'll just click on this little icon here with the uh, paper and X that'll uh, make it disappear and with with my finger I just simply write on the screen and that's it um, that's really all we need to do once we're finished we can click on done and you can see that it now has popped that signature up right down here at the bottom it's really easy to just resize we just select one of these blue uh, dots and we can just simply resize it reposition it um, that looks good right about there now let's say we also needed to date it so we can date or add text also very easily by just hitting this button up here with the number a or oh, I'm sorry with the T and I'm just going to click the screen right down here and I'm going to type in a date and now I'm just gonna tap somewhere else and it'll save that date and that's it um, obviously we could do more with positioning and um, and sizing and maybe you would have more lines to fill in but if you can do this much then you can basically fill out an entire PDF document so once we're finished okay we're going to click on this little up arrow up here and then we're going to click on this icon right here in between the pencil and the four squares and that'll basically give us some options on what we want to do now with this PDF so we're going to click on email we're going to email the document to ourselves and we're going to email the document this middle option that'll bring up a new email message on our phone and we can just type in an email address and send and that will basically send the document now uh, via email to yourself or to whomever needs that document 
So in a nutshell, that's how you sign and modify a PDF document on an iPhone or an iPad. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Um, if you did, leave a comment. Let me know how it all turns out. And like always, thank you so much for watching.